Faris Ramli tells The Straits Times it's the worst feeling in the world after missing the penalty that could have put Singapore in the Suzuki Cup final. Making COVID-19 testing more convenient, there are more than 90 quick test centres set up across Singapore. And get voting for your favourite hero in the Straits Times' Singaporean of the Year Award 2021. Good evening, you're watching The Big Story with me, Harianto Dimana. You can subscribe to The Straits Times channel so you never miss a single episode. National football player Faris Ramli has been speaking to The Straits Times about missing that penalty in the AFF Suzuki Cup semi-finals on Saturday. It was in the 90th minute of the match and the score was tied at 2-all at that point. Faris had the chance to send Singapore, which was down to nine men, into the finals with that one penalty kick. But it wasn't to be, and the Lions went on to lose 4-2 to Indonesia in extra time. Here's what Faris told our sports correspondent Azali Abdul Aziz earlier today. I feel that uh, it's the worst feeling ever. Uh, you know, how could I miss that, you know? Uh, that kind of uh, statement is trying to remind and all, but uh, I didn't even realize that the, the Indonesian captain was uh, like talking to me and all, but I, I could hear him, but I couldn't even like, you know, look thankful to Shadan and also some of the players that really stood, uh, you know, stood by me and all. So, and straight away, you know, my mind was set to we are, we, are, we are nine men down and you know, we are still in it. Uh, so that's the part where I feel like hey, we had still a chance. Uh, you know, uh, Shadon's free kick went, went through and I thought we uh, went in. And I thought that we are, we are in already, but at the end of the day, we, we spot and my penalty is safe, but at the end of the day, we are still still there. So there's a lot of things to take in. So what I consider enough is that, you know, uh, even with nine men, uh, the voice is still there and, you know, still walking uh, uh, on the pitch, you know, still running on the pitch. So it makes me like really just forget about it and just move on. That was Faris Ramli telling ST about his penalty miss. Heartbreaking for him and for the whole team. But the Lions' efforts were not in vain. Earlier today, the national squad was treated to a guard of honour at Jalan Bursa Stadium. Officials from the Football Association of Singapore and Minister for Culture, Community and Youth, Edwin Tong, congratulating the team and thanking them for inspiring a whole new generation of football fans in Singapore. First time I was in Singapore, this is about 50, 52 years ago. It was in 1995. It was when I was 14 years old, um, being the youngest player in the team. In November 2007, World Cup qualifier against uh, Tajikistan. The next day, Roy walking around the kampong to show off. Lah. It was like a moment which I can't forget. Honestly, it was the best, the proudest moment that I ever had in my life. and. Until today, I still remember it. I still feel like well, I'm going to cry and getting emotional about it, but it's pretty awesome. Playing, playing first for playing for the country and wearing the jersey is uh, something special. And it's definitely sacred. For me, uh, it's something which 
we have to cherish. I'm so excited to, to see how they're going to react to receiving this new new batch of jerseys and it's just um, I just hope that they will have the same excitement that I had when I first had my jersey. I hope that they got the same feeling as me. I know, we get excited have some discipline and be proud of wearing that Singapore jersey. To receive these jerseys from the legends, the heroes of Singapore, you know, who in a sense used to carry out the flag and now, you know, it's our turn to shine. So I think it's definitely an honour and a, a good process for us to receive it from them. I feel honoured that I'm receiving this jersey from a legend. This jersey has been passed down from generation to generation and it made me feel um, uh, proud wearing it. Personally, they did a great job in terms of the design of the jersey. I like the scales of the Merlion across the chest. That is very unique for me. Definitely the crest behind our neck uh, is very eye-catching for, for the jersey. In world football now, most of the countries are also using crest now. And it's also a good throwback to how it used to work before, uh, when we were actually using the crest before the flag. I think the fresh look, the new look of us uh, is something everyone looking forward, even our, ourselves, players, you know. Uh, for myself, I will feel very proud uh, and honoured to be wearing this new jersey.